Hello, I'm Dr. Shamil. I'd like to introduce my program, Dr. Shamil Smart Living, which is a holistic solution to a smarter 21st century living involving healthy diet, exercise, personal grooming and style while remaining very frugal and eco-friendly. The program is actually designed to alleviate some of the problems that we're faced with in current times. Rampant consumer spending, um, obesity, um, as well as economic downturn and environmental crisis. Today I'd like to focus on nutrition and show you how it's really easy to make very healthy, uh, fat-free meals using very inexpensive ingredients in very short space of time. The food will be very low in fat, very low levels of salt, very low levels of sugar, and just generally low in calories. At the same time, create meals that are very compelling and, and exciting, uh, using lots of flavors and colors and textures and herbs and spices, so that the brain doesn't have the inkling for, for missing fat. So that's what I want to show you. So I'm going to begin by showing you how to transform a can of sardines, just a very ordinary can of sardines that's very inexpensive, and transform it into a really delicious appetizer that I'm gonna serve over pumpernickel bread. For main course, I'm going to make tuna with green peas and pearl onions. And I'm gonna serve that with brown rice, again using canned ingredients that I'm gonna combine with fresh produce, herbs and spices to create a very exciting uh, dish. And for a side dish, I'm gonna make butter beans. Butter beans are my favorite beans. They're full of nutrients that I'll talk about. So with that, let's get cooking. So I'm going to um, transform these uh, very ordinary cans of uh, sardines that are packed in water into wonderful dish. Spicy sardines cooked in mustard sauce and lime juice. And to start off with, I'm going to chop up three quarters of a red onion. I'm gonna slice it finely and saute that in just one teaspoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, that's plenty. And this will allow the onions to develop their flavor. And then we'll add the sardines. I'm gonna drain the sardines to remove their excess water and, uh, and get rid of the excess salt that might be in the sardine. And I'm just going to add the, the sardines to the pan. And then I'm going to add chopped tomatoes. Let's just mix this up. And we're going to add one tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. And this will provide a nice heat as well as tang. So we're going to add one tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. And then I'm going to um, add some lime juice, a squirt of lime juice. The lime is a great combination with sardines because lime is um, more fragrant than a lemon and actually it's less sour, but it has a slight bitter note which um, goes really well with the sardines and the tomato will provide some natural sweetness which will provide a nice balance to the dish. And then once the sardines have warmed through um, with the onions and it takes literally a second to warm up, so the dish cooks very quickly. I'm going to garnish this with dry mint. Mint and sweet and sour go really well together. And I tend to use dry mint because it's very convenient to keep. You just keep it in the, in the pantry and you always have mint on, on hand. Just have to remove the stalks and just rub the mint leaves into tiny speckles. And they provide a nice color but most importantly, they provide fresh fragrance that goes really well with the dish. So I'm not going to add any salt to this dish because the sardines were packed in, uh, in this can, so they probably have uh, quite a bit of salt anyway. And sardines tend to be salty, so I'll leave it for my guests to sprinkle salt on, on their food if they desire. But I will add some black pepper because pepper just provides a nice heat. So uh, just to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper. Plenty. And once the sardines are done, we're going to serve them over pumpernickel bread, which is a very healthy bread. There's no wheat in it. It's, it's low in glycemic index. It's made with rye and other um, good grains. And there, it's done. 
So for the next dish, we're going to cook um, tuna, a canned tuna with um, green peas and pearl onions. And we're going to transform these canned ingredients into a wonderful dish. So let's start by sauteing one yellow onion. Just a medium-sized onion is fine. We're going to uh, slice it very thinly. We're going to actually dice the onion into small pieces. And in about one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, we're going to saute the onions. That's all we need, we don't need too much. We're going to add the onions. With one teaspoon of cumin seeds that will provide very nice earthy heat. Some cumin seeds. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of store-bought tomato sauce that you would normally use for making uh, pasta. And it's just tomato sauce with garlic. So let's just add two, teaspoon, uh, two tablespoons of the tomato sauce and stir the mixture. Once the onions have sauteed and the cumin seeds have infused their flavor, we'll add the, the canned tuna and the canned peas. And we just mix them together. Give it a good stir, good mix. And we'll add one chopped jalapeno, which we will take out the membranes, since that's where the heat resides. Chop the jalapeno into thin slices and we're really adding them for flavor and for color, but not so much for heat. And we'll chop up one red plum tomato that we'll chop up uh, nicely. And we'll add that to the pan. And then we garnish this with um, a little bit of um, uh, cilantro. Cilantro will provide a nice uh, freshness. Just, I'm going to eyeball it, but basically it's about a teaspoon of dried cilantro. And this gives it a nice aromatic flavor. And we'll add a little bit of pepper, but no salt because tuna already has a salt. And again, you can add as much or as little pepper as you like, depending on your own taste preference. I tend to like a lot of black pepper. It brings out nice heat. But for a bit of freshness, I will squirt some lemon juice. And I, I tend to use these types of uh, lemon juice in, in these containers that you can buy in a supermarket. But if you want to use fresh lemons and fresh limes, then be my guest. And it's done.